Hello my beautiful people, welcome to your life path number five um, video with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like the video, share the video and hit that subscribe button. I am on my way now from 30,000 subscribers to my next leg, which is 50. So help me get there. It's quite apt as well, isn't it? Because we're doing life path number five today. So um, yeah, if you'd like to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And if you would like to donate to the channel for this video because you feel like it's helped you in some way, you can do so on the web link below. Before we start, I would like to say, I'd like to bless this, uh, this reading, this information with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path, life path number five. So I've got my trusty notes, my board, uh, the number five. So if you have a life path number five, you are probably very often the life and soul of the party. You are probably one of the people that people go to when they want, uh, you know, <laughs> in stark contrast. The number four is all about stability. So remember, we always talk about these being responses to the number that came before them. So the life path number five, in stark contrast to the number four, which is about stability and being slow and steady, is moving. So number four will get things done you know, by determination. Number five will get shit done by actually doing it, by making it happen. Number five is a deeply active number. It's about movement. It's about dynamism. We've got the blessings and the lessons. So what are they? Blessings of the life path number five, lots of energy, lots of vibrancy. They tend to be, um, you know, <laughs> as young people or as unconscious people, they tend to have quite a, a fair amount of, um, you know, sort of health and vitality problems. And it's usually that they have one that kind of the, the sticks out in the memory and then all of a sudden they are just like a firecracker or they'll be very, you know, very energetic from young right the way through their lives. Um, as a young person, they struggle with this kind of getting out there. It's almost like they, you know, just like, oh, well, the world is so big. And then the second that thought changes into the world is so big, it's like, yeah, you know, the number five is deeply dynamic, lots of dynamic energy, lots of movement. They want to be free. They need that freedom as well. Um, movement is one of the things that you associate with the number five, moving house, moving country, moving back to the house, moving back to the place that you live. It's all about movement. It's about dynamism, energy, vibrancy, fun. You know, the number five life path is somebody that is fun, vibrant, uh, feisty, fiery, passionate, you know, all of these things, they're really deeply emotive. They care about things a lot, but they are, you know, they're the firecracker. They want to get stuff done. They're all about action. They're all about forward progression, forward momentum, you know, um, freedom as well. There is this burning need and desire for freedom to be out there, to be doing things, to be expressing themselves, to be living in their truth. And, you know, ultimately, Ultimately, the other thing about the number five as well is they love adventure. They crave it. They seek it. You know, the number five life path, very good with the number five. They, those two seem to get on well because the three is all about communication and justification and the five is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like they're really energetic and very excitable as well. You know, if you want the party to be... Fives are very often the life and soul of the party. If you want somebody to get the party started, get a number five in because they will be the first one on the dance floor, the last one to get off it. They will probably drink most people under the table, aside from maybe your life path sixes, depending. We'll get to that. Um, <laughs> and brave as well, bravery. One of the things about the life path five, it doesn't matter how big the task is. It doesn't matter how much, uh, you know, if they're looking at a mountain, it's like, right, okay, I'm gonna scale that mountain. I might not have all the facts yet. This is one of the other things as well. The number four always wants the facts, the rules, the regulations, and you know, everything structured. The number five doesn't wait for that. So. As, as people, let's describe them. The number five would get the IKEA flat pack and just start building it. Fuck the instructions, I don't need that. 
you know they are there in it they you know they'll get their hands stuck in um they like to make things happen they like to be the person that gets things started but ultimately keeps them running you know they're always very very you know dynamic creatures very tactile creatures as well a uh, very very high sex drive very you know a lot of sexual prowess a lot of um sensuality and sexuality is innately within them um, you know, and brave, really, really brave. They will look at the mountain and say, right, I'm going to climb that. And they will do it. You know, they've got the determination of the four, but the difference between uh, them and the four is the four will sit and plan, right, okay, we're going to need to do this and we'll go to this point on that day and da-da-da-da. Number five is already up the mountain, you know. <laughs> They're just running up it. Okay, I'm tired. I'm going to have a rest. Fine. Sleep where I am. Number, number five will just go and go and go. When they're tired, they'll sleep, they'll get up and they'll just carry on. You know, it's like wherever they stop, they'll just carry on from there. So, you know, mile a minute thoughts as well is one of the things that you get with a number five. And it's really important for them to have physical, tangible outlets for that energy because it kind of goes, you know, if it goes inward, um, it tends to implode on them. They, you know, it's like, oh, I've got too much energy. I, I need to move. Um, you, you know, there's a lot of, you know, childlike qualities to the number five as well, um, which is interesting and adaptive. One of the things about the number five life path is these people, because they're always on the move, because they're always doing something different, because they're already plotting how to get up the mountain, they adapt to situations really, really fast. But in early life or unconscious moments, within the lifescape they will be you know like oh my gosh you know I don't know how to do this I don't know until that clicks in and they're like yeah I know how to do this I've got all the skills that I need I just need to respond to what is in front of me so in that same vein as well as being adaptive they can be reactive as well but deeply adaptive you know like they will roll with the punches in fact the number five life path is uh, the sort of person that will go on a hovercraft you know like everyone else is like uh, 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 the number five will just be standing there and their legs will be swaying so underneath them you know they're doing what ducks do they sit totally still on the surface but underneath it's like uh, you know just to stay afloat and to look really graceful and peaceful but the legs are constantly moving underneath the water that's a good way to think about the life path number five outside they might be really, you know, responsive, uh, you know, reactive, um, you know, deeply action orientated and very adaptive. But inside, they'll be going a mile a minute to make sure that they can keep that surety. They're really, really confident, you know, lots of confidence in the life path number five um, and very highly sexed. You know, there's no other way to say it or put it, but they really are. So what are some of the lessons of the life path five? Well. Some of the lessons are they can be quite careless. And when I say careless, this isn't, um, you know, it's not careless for the sake of being careless. It's they move really quick. They do things really quick. They need things to move very, very fast. In fact, if um, the life path number five was a mutant, they would be uh, Quicksilver from X-Men, you know, <laughs> like constantly on the move, got to do things and, you know, do them really quick, speaking really quick, you know eat quick, love quick, <laughs> you know, love quick, do what you, you know, in and out, let's go. <laughs> you know, they love to do things hard and fast. And so therefore sometimes in stark contrast to the four who is about steady grounded practical success and progress, the number five is about getting things done. So sometimes they might miss the details. Sometimes they might not necessarily um, use tact they say what they think, they, you know, they, they say what they mean, they mean what they say. Um, so in that way, sometimes they can be quite careless, but also a little bit insensitive. And it's not from a place of malice or spite, it's just some of the things that seem to bother other people, they just don't get. It's like, okay, that's fine, but I don't really understand why you're bothered about that. And the reason being is because they're already on to the next thing. And then when everybody starts to catch up to that, they're already on to the next thing as well. You tend to find, um, yeah, actually I won't talk about that, but yeah, uh, insens insensitivity and carelessness tend to go kind of hand in hand as some of the lessons that they need to learn to transcend. Uh, ungrounded, and the reason being is because the life path number five 
is not a rooted character. They don't they don't like feeling boxed in or hemmed in. They need space, they need freedom. You know, whether that's physically, whether it's in relationships, whether it's mentally, emotionally, they need that freedom, they need that ability to move. And so ungrounded, they don't lay roots. This is, you know, the life path number of a traveler, of a what some people would call a waif and a strafe. And it's not about that. It's just about, this is the, the, the life path five is very often the person that will live two years in this country, move over there for three years, move home for a year, decide what they're gonna do, go on to the next thing. Life path five has loads of jobs, loads of careers, and they can balance a lot of plates in the air at any one time. They're really good at that. Frivolous, uh, one of the lessons to learn, again, this comes back to the being constantly on the move, constantly doing things or going places. Um, and that frivolity, it's like they're really good for a fun time and stuff, but sometimes when it comes to being serious or the need to kind of stick down or put roots down, they're a bit like, mm, that doesn't really work for me. I'm kind of, you know, already on to the next thing. Elusive. So yeah, for the same reason, because they're constantly on the go and, you know, pinning them down and getting them to say, I will be there on Friday at 10.30 p.m. Pfft, don't do it just don't do it you know leave it it's better to say to them we've got a party on on friday or you know we've got a meeting on on friday can you be there this is the time that the meeting happens and they will you know that is leaving it open in order for them to make the decision that's really really important to a life path five as well they need to make the decision for themselves they need to um, be an active participant in their lives and then finally angry Anger is one of the things that can get the, the better of a life path number five. And it's through pure frustration more than anything else because things or people don't tend to move as fast as they do. It's sometimes really frustrating for them. It's a difficult experience. Um, <laughs> you know, like the, the old couple in front in the shopping aisle is like, I'm in hell, why, what have you done to me? Um, you know, I'm, I'm joking and, and being very generalised there, so, you know, don't hold it against me. Planet then, planetary association, no wonder, is Mars. Uh, fire, feisty, passionate, you know, vibrant, always constantly on the move, wants to get things done, very physical. The colours for this um, life path, believe it or not, are um, aquamarine blue and turquoise, and that's got a lot to do with drawing that serenity because there's not a lot of stillness with them they find it in the outside world so um, as for gemstone the gemstone for them will be aquamarine or tur turquoise and it tends to take the rough edges off of the number five energy so that they can work with it that much more smooth but when they are enlightened and balanced a number five can be really really powerful really powerful so uh, what have I got here? Need to move around. Humour, lots of humour, lots of laughter, lots of enjoyment and engagement you'll get from a life path number five. They love that stuff. There is a need for them not to take things too seriously. Um, very, very brave. Yeah, we mentioned that change movement and energy now as parents and don't shoot me for those of you that are parents and life path number fives they tend to sometimes be a little bit irresponsible um, and it's because they're so caught up with having fun and enjoyment with the, the kids and making sure that they understand what it is to have fun and enjoy life that sometimes they might miss what are considered you know the rules and regulations of being a parent like you could even write a book on that stuff anyway um, but they are very loving parents and very very fun this is like you know, you get two two types of parent. You get the one that's like super strict and wants to, you know, make sure that the child is disciplined and well-rounded. And then you get the parent that's like, yeah, come on, let's paint. Come on, let's go out for margaritas. And do you know what I mean? Like, and the Life Path Five will be that, that artsy, crafty, paint uh dreadlocked pierced eared and you know there'll be there'll be that sort of person that's a bit more you know go with the flow and just you know have fun stick your hands in the air and dance and 
you know that's not to say that they don't have seriousness about them or that they don't have other traits that are you know really reliable because they absolutely do every single number has something to teach us you incarnate as a specific uh, life path number to have a specific experience so i'm not dogging on you and i'm you know i'm not yeah anyway you get my point jobs and vocations for a life path number five uh, marketing and advertising because it's you know fast like buy this you need this it's amazing doom, doom, doom. Uh, same reason acting circus arts believe it or not hospitality uh, anything like a hotel uh, a bar um, you know an international working at the airport anything that's transient where there's a lot of people just moving coming and going is brilliant for them an adventure guide or a tour guide sound healing as well believe it or not um, I really love that one and it makes sense as well spiritual authorities wildlife preservationists or people that work with or around, excuse me what are considered you know wild roaring animals um, technicians of any sort like so people that work with technology or you know stuff like that technology specialist investors and freelancers entrepreneurs that makes total sense to me because it's that uncertainty and that rush of you know one day it could be amazing and the next day oh I might have to think about what's going on and adapt to the situation so you know all of that sort of stuff anything to do with travel air hosts and air hostesses um, obviously dancers yeah so deeply physical deeply moving um i really hope you've enjoyed this and you continue to enjoy the entire series even if you're not a life path number five or even if you're not a life path whatever the other numbers are that i post check them all out because you'll know somebody that is each one of these and it's fun to kind of see if you can spot the trends in them i wish you an abundance of love light peace prosperity and abundance itself have an amazing year have an amazing life path and i will see you very soon for more videos take care